we will be installing a WordPress blog on the wpdollar.com slash uh, demo page so we'll be using fantastical I'm already logged into my cPanel account so your hosting should have cPanel in order to you know understand this tutorial completely so we're gonna log into fantastical right now fantastical here it is so I'm just gonna open up fantastical on my cPanel here it's gonna take a little bit of time because my connection is a bit slow right now okay here it is and we're gonna click WordPress and clicking a new installation now mind it it's always recommended that you install WordPress by downloading the zip file from WordPress and you know uploading it and doing the organic installation stuff but you know I'm just gonna take you through a quick demonstration here so I'm gonna install my WordPress in the demo directory I'm gonna add some username and a password I should do it admin I guess Amazon no mind I'm just gonna leave this here yet another demo block for my folks here and I'm gonna click on uh, install WordPress here it is I'm just gonna click on finish installation and my WordPress would be installed in WP dollar dot I just added this part but well. and here we are I'm gonna click on this link this will directly take me to the admin panel of my newly installed blog and here you can and here we are I'm gonna go login using my credentials here admin demo and login okay the problem with installing you know WordPress through Fantastico is that you need to upgrade it to the you know the latest version here so I'm gonna go and click on update to update my installation click on update automatically because you know this will just download the package from wordpress.org and uh, upgrade my database and the files automatically and here we are we have the latest wordpress 3.1.3 blog CMS installed and I'm gonna click on WP dollar here and here we are on freshly installed wordpress blog through Fantastico in less than five minutes now before you know uh, closing this up there's just one thing like I was earlier saying it's always recommended that you download the latest files from wordpress.org the wordpress 3.1.3 .3 or the latest version and install wordpress on your web server organically like extracting the files uploading it creating a database through PHP my admin or whatever database system you use and going through the whole process because you know fantastic code does sometimes adds a bunch of snippets and codes into your WordPress installs which you know pretty much trouble makes the you know proper functioning of WordPress blog and the WP dollar or any other plugin that you might be using a bit tricky a bit you know buggy so anyways this is it for now in next video we'll be uh, taking you through the installation of WP dollar the Amazon plugin for WordPress. Thank you for watching.